Don't say to that video. Shut down the second target. Woohoo! Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan. Today I am here in Northern Territory Field and Games Association. This place is located in Mickett Creek in Northern Territory, Australia and here is a gun club where we can do different kind of shooting practices. So in today's video we are going to see how the gun club in this place looks like and also I and one of my good friends Steve are going to do some skeet shooting here. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon for future updates and without further delay, let's get into our video content. This is the entrance of this gun club and there are already few people here in this gun club. That side are the shooting fields and few people are already there shooting and practicing. This is the gun club guys and few gentlemen are here taking a break from their shooting session and relaxing. You are now looking at the counter where we can get the guns and ammo for shooting. There are a few safety information boards hanging on the top and few typical Aussie codes like I hunt I vote, I shoot I vote are present here. There is also a notice board in the right which carries some important information. There are also few sponsors of this club mentioned in that board and as you see here there is also a kitchen and barbecue machine available in this gun club which serves food during special occasions and shooting competitions. If you guys are bringing your kids to this gun club you don't need to worry. They can play here in this playground till you finish your shooting session. Look at these guns guys. We are going to use one of these double barrel shotguns for our skid shooting. Normally these kind of shotguns are used for shooting in gun clubs and hunting. If we got shot by this type of shotguns, it can also cause serious injuries to death. This is the gun I'm gonna use today for shooting. When carrying a gun, we should make sure it is unloaded and also should be open like this. The one who is going in front of me is Steve, a good friend of mine. Look at these flags guys, the Northern Territory flag, an indigenous flag and also a flag of Torres Strait Islanders have been hoisted in this gun club. Straight opposite to the flag poles is our shooting field. The shooting practice we are gonna do now is skeet shooting. There are 8 different standing positions and we are going to shoot the targets which will be thrown from either side. Our clay targets will be thrown from two positions. One of them is the window just there above the number 5. It will be thrown in this direction and we should chase and shoot that down. The second position is the window right there in that container. That will be thrown to the opposite direction to the first one. Now let's see how we can operate those targets. First we should pay at the gun club to get the gold tokens. After that we need to come here and insert the gold token right here. Once we did that we will get the permission for access our clay targets. Then 
This is the remote used to throw the clay targets. When we press high, a target will be thrown from the upper window. Likewise, when we press low, a target will be thrown from the lower window. When we press the button pair, targets will be thrown from both sides. Now, let's go inside the container from where the clay targets are thrown and see what is inside that container. This is the machine that throws the clay target. Once you press the switch in the remote below, a target will be thrown outside from this machine through the window. This is the clay target get thrown for shooting. The target will rotate itself and also travel in a trajectory path. It is not so heavy and easily fragile. Alright guys, now it's shooting time. This is our first position. In every position there is a concrete slab on which we need to stand while shooting and there is a blue barrel in front of each concrete slab. The blue barrel is to put all the cartridge cases after shooting. Very easy. As this is my first time yep. shooting, Steve is doing a brief explanation about how to handle a gun and how to shoot the target. Mm -hmm. right. So, about your feet, about the width of your shoulders mm -hmm. apart, with sort of your weight on your front leg. Yeah. So, so, so if you go over and you can see how my body's forward, mm -hmm. like that and you want to keep the gun up and the target flies out, it flies directly over that white post. Yeah. So you go, boom. And then it comes back and it flies directly over that white post. So you want to hold it about the white post, you'll see the target and you'll follow through. Easy. My kids do it. Now, as soon as you close that gun, this gun is, as soon as you close it, the gun's ready to fire. So don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to go, okay? Pull the gun into your shoulder Start with the gun up because it's just going to be easier for you. Pull it into your shoulder, keep your arm there, and then when you pull, call, pull, put your finger down on the trigger and then just squeeze. Don't try and reef it, just squeeze it and it'll go off. Alright? Pull! So you're a little bit to the side. You know it wasn't too bad. Break the gun. Now that, now that yeah. shell's going to, when you, it's got, it'll throw that out automatically. So we'll go again. Same one. Yeah, pull. You're behind it. You, you, you. It was you. Yeah, it gone over that. Yeah, I saw that. It. Break the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you'll learn. Yeah. Pull. Oh, close. Close? Close. You didn't hit it, but it was close. So what you do, here, let me show you. What's, yeah. what's this? While we are doing shooting, hey, right. we should make sure we protect our eyes and ears. Safety glasses and earplugs can be used to protect them. Yep. 
the gun. You this is how we should take the cartridge cases outside after shooting, unless they will hit us back on ice or face. Pull. I've done this since I was seven years old, so I've had lots and lots of practice. Yeah. Steve has started shooting at the age of seven. He has won many awards in the competitions held by this gun club. Also, he was the president of this gun club last year. It is even hard to shoot a still target when you shoot for the first time. Think about shooting a target which is traveling in a curved projectile path. That's what I'm doing right now. You want to be sort of looking up that way a little bit, up to where the, where the target's going to come out of? Yep. Oh, that's lightning. Yeah, that's all right. And whenever you want to the target will come out and you've got to swing and chase it. And you've got to get about that far in front of it. Yep. About two, two foot in front of it. When you're ready. Pull. Go about three foot behind it. That's you're moving to the next one. Yeah. Not even shot anything. That's all right. Some, some people take a long time to hit anything. Don't need to, it's all it, what you need to learn. What you what you you've got a whole lot of things to learn at the moment. Uh, high house, pull. Well done, Steve. As Steve is a professional shooter, he shot more than eighty-five percent of his targets. He's really a very good shooter. Now zero out of twenty-five. Get one. You'll get, you might get one if you like. So, don't close any eyes. Try not to close any eyes. Don't try. No? No. You should have both eyes open. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. So now it's going to come from high. Hey? Okay. It's going to come from high, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So, pull back a bit. Pull back to about there. And, yeah, and just be. Pull. There you go, one. I got one. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> and break, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Keep going. You haven't, it hasn't caught, it hasn't come out yet. You haven't broken enough. There you go. It'll, when it comes open, it'll click and it'll spit it out. Right? Yeah, right. Right out. Now do the same with the low one. So you don't need to close the eye. So that's the problem. See. Some people do. It is advised to keep your both eyes open when you shoot with a shotgun. It is because you can aim a moving target and locate that easily. Pull. Bit behind it. Bit behind. I reckon my shooting is improving a bit. It is because picking up small techniques correctly which need to be followed while shooting. Woohoo! I got one shot, guys. During shooting, Steve Ooh, shared cool. a lot of his knowledge on shooting with me. Pull. Pull. Okay, so watch it. One thing that's really important you've got to do when you're shooting this, when you're shooting this discipline, is you've got to have lots of swing. Now, what, what you did, you held your gun about there, yep. and then you saw it coming out, and then you let it get past it, and then you started following. So what you want to do, what you want to do is, you want to shoot it. See where that, see where that tree is, that mm -hmm. dead tree? Yep. That's where you want to shoot it. You want to start the gun there, mm -hmm. and then you come back. And because you come, because you you've got to do that, you've got to pivot, and it's in your hips. You're doing that in your hips when you're ready. Call pull. Pull. 
you're under it, but you're close to it. Yeah, right. A lot, that was a lot better. That was a lot better. I think it, you didn't stop the gun, it was just a little bit slow, that's all. So you're just, you're, you're probably that far under it by the looks of the board. Mm -hmm. Pull. 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 You were so close. close. Yeah, yeah, you were close then. Yeah. You were close. It's where you finish, not where you start. More important. Yep. More important that you know you've got the you can swing that way yep. comfortably. And see where that tree is just there, that tall. Yep, yep, that's about where you want to hit it, I reckon. And and then then come back. Yep. Pull. Way too far in front. Yeah. That's all right. Break the gun. Never turn around. Never turn around without the gun broken. Yeah, pull. <laughs> Was that close? No. Don't say it to that video. Oh, okay, yes. 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 Very, well done, Mac. Very, very nice. Well done. Awesome job, Mac. Yeah. Pull. Pull. Wait till I say pull. <laughs> Again. I'll show you, take you. Yeah, turkey. Right, over the white stick. Put it over the white stick. Lean forward. When you're ready. Pull. Underneath it. Yeah. Go a bit higher. You've got to get just above it. Just above it. Go up and blot it out. And it, it always goes in a projectory direction. Same. Always. Same projection all the time. Break the yeah. gun. The sheet low. Another cart. Excellent. It's two cartons if you don't pick the shell up. <laughs> <clears throat> always higher. Because the target's going up in the air. Yeah, right. Pull. Smoked it. Smoked. Shut down the second target. Woo -hoo! Break the gun. Or at least break the gun. Always break the gun. Don't celebrate too early. We have finished our shooting session. Now let's go around this gun club and explore the other places. This shooting practice is called five stand. The targets for this shooting is thrown from three different places. One is from the above right there. 
The next position is from the container right there. The third position from where the target is thrown is from the container over there. There are also other different kind of shooting practices which can be done in different fields. This is also another file stand. Wow, look at the sky guys. Sunset looks spectacular here. There are a few other containers there which carry the target throwing machine. Every day, at the end of the day, they turn off the target throwing machines. This is how the machines are turned off. I'm yep. This is just the process of packing up. So you need to do this daily? Yeah. This place looks a bit different with military camouflage structures. Look at the sunset guys. The sky is in gold color and it's just taking our breath away. Such a pleasant sunset. Alright guys, that's it. This is the end of this video. Thanks to Steve and NT Field and Games to give me such an opportunity to experience my shooting session for the first time. I have also posted another home 2 video with Steve. Steve, you got many fans after that home 2 video, you know that? On the one? From that home 2 video. Oh, okay, yeah. You got, too yeah, yeah. you got too many fans, you know? Uh, well, that's, there are, there, good looking. Yeah, you're good looking and there are too many girls from Sri Lanka asking for your phone number. And my Can wife will be upset. Okay. So, funny stuff. Wonderful. I hope this video would have been a visual treat for you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all soon. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.